Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated the Boeing India Engineering and Technology Center campus in Bengaluru, which is Boeing's largest such investment outside the US. Airbus has more than 40 suppliers in India, and Airbus is now planning to double the total value of parts from India to $1.5 billion in coming years. Mohindra Defence Systems and the RDO developed wheeled CBR N8x8 vehicle has started rigorous testing, and the Army is interested to procure 49 units. The DRDO is all set to conduct another test of indigenous submarine-launched cruise missile between 24th to 25th of January 2024, and it will be tested for a longer range of 900 kilometers. Azerbaijan has released a footage, showing the movement of unknown cargo from Iran to Armenia, which is reportedly the delivery of Indian Pinnacle rockets to Armenia. Indian firm Digitronics has secured a crucial contract to supply 1,500 fully indigenized DC-DC converters and DMI filters for the Tejas Mark I fighter jets. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said that there is a need for a detailed study to find out if India's adversaries are behind the rising number of natural disasters in some border states and union territories. Pakistan Air Force has claimed that it has a hypersonic missile. However, top military analysts have said, it is likely the 250 km range Chinese CM-400 AKG missile, which is actually a high supersonic system that can travel at Mach 4. A retired Air Marshal of the Indian Air Force has said, that the Chinese Air Force operates over 200 J-25th generation aircraft, which will increase to 400 units by 2027, and Pakistan is on track to induct J-31 5th generation aircraft by 2029, due to which India should explore the Rafale F-4 variant, that could later be upgraded to Super Rafale F-5 standard. France has fast-tracked the development of Super Rafale F-5 version, after delays in its future combat air system project, and latest reports indicates that F-5 deliveries will start in 2027. The F-5 standard will be able to carry hypersonic missiles, and will feature next-generation Spectra electronic warfare suite, futuristic surface attack and anti-ship missiles, next-generation RBE-2XG radar, and specialized munitions and drones will be developed for various kinetic and non-kinetic roles. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment has sought a flying test bed to test the new 130 kN engine for the AMCA program. The GTRE has proposed using a Su-30 aircraft already in service with the Indian Air Force, however, the proposal is still pending approval from the Ministry of Defense. Meanwhile, French firm Safran has offered its company-owned Rafale as a potential flying test bed, while British firm Rolls-Royce has offered its Boeing 747 flying test bed. The founding project director of the indigenous UCAF program has expressed concerns about the fate of the UCAF program, as the RDO has shifted the UCAF program from the Aeronautical Development Agency to the Aeronautical Development Establishment, as recently the TAPAS male UAV program spearheaded by Aeronautical Development Establishment was defunded by the Ministry of Defense after failing to meet technical requirements. The transfer of the program was done to free up Ada's resources for man fighter jet programs like Tejas Mark II Ted BF and AMCA. Today's top 3 comments.